Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for ooh, March 2018 where we have reached an area here. There is at least one tree here. That is good news. Yesterday, or the last episode was a little bit on the long side because I managed to start out in a rather a laggy situation. Reduced the rendering distance to 8, and I think everything is back to normal now. But that meant that all the ticks in that took longer than usual. So therefore, I wound up with an extra long episode. That's but I think this one will be a lot closer to the normal length. I don't know if I caught the... turnover at the proper time or if I missed it by a minute or two because it was taking so long to tell but it was about a 28 minute episode based on my estimates actually 30 minutes if you count the time I spent in setup before actually loading anything ah here is a flower okay so therefore I can get some dye for that and here is a tree good and it is Okay, good. Nice to be able to cut down a tree without extra lag and all that stuff. I think that's one reason why I wasn't exactly enthused on cutting down the trees before is because I had the extra lag last time due to the rendering distance. So let me get out of here. Hopefully I can get a couple of saplings here so that I can make some wood because I have a feeling that once I get things set up, I'm going to have to worry about getting wood, so therefore being able to... Oh, there we go. Now, I'm really worried about this world because the last two hardcore challenges, I died from falling. Now, it is true that in one case I was blown up by a gas and I was forced down as a result of a gas blast and in the other I was blown up by a creeper who knocked me off of a ledge when I had two hearts left so therefore it wasn't just a case of carelessly falling over but if there's a place in the world where I am going to carelessly fall over this is it right here because this is I need to get down over there, it looks like, in order to be able to continue up. Because if I'm going to find things like gold and diamonds, and I'm going to need gold for the gold block, which is one of the components I need to get. And I'm going to need a diamond for the jukebox, I guess for the needle for the turntable. I guess that'll be... So let me get down here. Oh yeah, this is where I entered up in good. So let's see if I can... There are cattle up here. Of course, normal rules apply, so therefore I can't just... Food. I've completely forgotten about food. I've been so worried about getting up here and all that fun stuff that I didn't even consider the possibility that I could get hungry at some point. Well, fortunately, I've got an apple. But apples aren't exactly the most reliable source of food in Minecraft. So I've got plenty of cobble, so at least I should be able to try this. I know. I could see myself just going, Bleh! Fortunately, I taken, took care of the lag before I went and did this. Because if I still had the lag on here, I'd probably be dead from that. Ah, normal rules apply, so the cattle are safe. And 
how do I get across there? Hmm. Yeah, mm, oh, let's see. I can try to go up there. And try this. Did I get any seeds? Yeah. So maybe I should hunt for some seeds while I've got a chance. This place is really weird. I have no trouble doing stuff on normal world, but now, right? Because I haven't survived a challenge yet. So even using G standard rules, I'm having enough trouble. So now we got this thing going on. Actually, I had was considering using the snapshot for the March challenge, but when I saw Yes, yeah, sun's working at normal pace now. So that was definitely due to the lag that I had the troubles last time. So therefore... I don't know, I completely forgot my train of thought there. But... We'll see what's going on. That, 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 that. But as I said before, I have no trouble surviving in normal world. So surviving in this mess. That's right. I was thinking of using the snapshot before I saw what this world was like. But this, who knows? They did do some change. Oh, iron. They did some changes to the world generation. Now the worlds are coming out in the exact same way, but it could be that you. That specifying a custom world would be different under snapshot, and I'm having trouble getting the right resolution for the snapshot anyway. So therefore, yeah, I decided to bag that for now. And besides, being outside at night above sea level brings out phantoms, and of course, in the snapshots. And the last thing that I really want to be worrying about is running into phantoms when I'm up here in a super amplified world. <laughs> and yeah, all I have to do is lag out and I'm dead. Okay, good. Got that, and I've got iron. Welcome to the Iron Age. Well, okay, not till I actually smelt the stuff. I will smelt the stuff at night when we start to have that. Let's see if I can do this most efficiently as possible. So, I figure I will probably lose a block or two. But this should at least reduce how much I do lose. Good. Now this is all right. Good. I think I only lost one block in that transition. Okay, so good. That's iron. So we are starting to get to levels where we can actually pick up some valuables. Now. My goal for this is to complete one item per day. That will give me nine days and nine items. So therefore, I think that will work out really nice and well. Now, I will have to, of course, assemble it by the end of day nine and if having everything assembled. But I think once you have all the pieces, the assembly process is just a matter of getting a piece of flat ground and with as much cobble as I've been picking up here, getting some flat ground is probably not going to be all that difficult. Uh, let's get up here. Now, how far am I into this day, I wonder? Alright, there we go. I actually, I am about 
nine minutes into my recording according to this so therefore that probably means that we are coming pretty close to nightfall uh, in fact there is the moon right there so therefore yeah we're about on the right schedule now good mm, so that just means that all the trouble I was having yesterday was due to the lag there all right there there's a torch up there to make sure that nothing unfriendly spawns up there good and since this night I think it's time for me to start to do some smelting good we've got I might as well use up the charcoal too and iron 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 find three pieces of iron that'll oh yeah I'm talking about making things safer I got this big gaping hole right here oh there we go and for now let us Or that should reduce the possibility of uh, something uh, nasty coming along. Uh, that should give me enough so I can actually see, but not enough for set. Now, what should I make for today? Let's see. Yesterday I made the polished andesite. Actually, where am I going to get lava? Because I'll need lava in order to get into the nether, in order to get obsidian. All right, there we go. Hey, acquire hardware, good. And let's get this out here. Good. And, oh yeah, I did I use it for all my sticks. All right, there you go. Now, <laughs> I of course, but I took the precaution of making sure that I had, all right, well, yeah, make two pickaxes. Because we all, all right, fine. I'll just combine those two into one. Because I tend to go back and forth in doing that anyway. But all right, I've got that. I'll stay with the stone axe for now. The shovel probably don't need to go on that now. What I wanted to make are some iron bars. Yeah, and I need, mm, okay, <sighs> because I made the pickaxe, and the other thing that I'm going to be needing are the, okay, the iron bars, and the other, or rails, rails, oh, because I've, rails. Rails, right? Is there something called rails? Oh, tracks! Or is it called track? Okay, probably because I haven't discovered the recipe yet. Well, then, I'll just... Okay, what is the recipe for... I can't remember. That's the thing. You get used to the system telling you everything that you need. So, therefore... Right, so I haven't unlocked rails yet for some reason. Okay. 
Well, I'll do. Anyway, I've got my iron bars now. So that'll give me my second thing there. Now, I should make a shield. I'll just... Just one this month. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, multiple shields. That's a thing that I tended to do quite a bit last time. All right, so now I need to get a little bit more iron. But that at least gives me enough to get started. And that gave me what I need for today. So then I'll have to remember what I need for... I'm pretty sure rails are with iron. Hmm. Well, I'll look it up in the wiki between episodes. That'll be straightforward enough. Uh, let's see if I can... Do some digging here. Now what's the... Probably the next thing I'll have to build in the next episode are the rails. Because that will be the most straightforward thing. Now I'm just doing here to see if I can find any more iron. Because I have to, tomorrow I'll have to go and try to climb up and see if I can find the next area. And it is still night at least. Okay, I can confirm that. And it's pretty deep night right now. Yeah. The stars are moving in a nice, gentle pace. So that's good to see. So therefore, the lag seems to be completely gone now. I'll have to think whoever mentioned... I can't remember whether Baker Bell mentioned the possibility of lag when... Oh, more iron. When she was doing the spin video. Or whether someone mentioned it in Discord or something like that. But yeah. I suppose I didn't completely believe them that the lag could be as bad as it was in the last episode. And there we go. I'm going to expect that we are going to have a normal length episode. It might be one or two minutes short is a possibility. Depending on when I noticed the turn over last time. And if I but I can see the dawn coming up now because there, there is the sun. But we are way up here, which means that we are going to be seeing the light come up through here a little bit earlier than usual. So therefore, just because we can see the full sun here doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be day two yet. As you can see here, they still got the stars up there. Uh, because there are places down there that don't quite see uh, what's light yet. So I think that means it's we're getting pretty much time because we are at least getting enough light. And enough light means that we're not going to have to worry about things spawning on top of us. And I think that's probably one of the more important things at the moment. Good, so let us start digging here. And it should be day two pretty, pretty soon. Let me get an idea how far the sun has to be above the horizon up here before it's going to be day two. Pretty far up, I can see. It's, it's, okay, it is day two now, so therefore I'll be back next time where we'll see what I can collect then.